Welcome all, Papa G here. Today I present a wonderfully delicious low-carb casserole recipe. My Chicken Florentine Alfredo Casserole. With just a few ingredients and some simple shortcuts, you'll enjoy a meal that's as easy to make as it is delicious to eat. Let's get started. As I just said, using some time-saving shortcuts will help you to prepare this recipe a lot quicker. For example, a pre-cooked rotisserie chicken from your local grocer, pre-washed baby spinach, and some pre-sliced mushrooms. Now although the spinach could be used as is, I prefer to trim some of the larger stems from the spinach. I think this helps give a little better texture to the dish. We'll do some prep work by cutting up six strips of bacon. After shredding the chicken, place in a large mixing bowl. Add some poultry seasoning and give a mix with your hands to coat the chicken. Then set it aside. In a large skillet on medium high heat, add the bacon. Fry the bacon until it's about two thirds done. When it's reached just about this point, add the sliced mushrooms to the skillet and continue to cook until the mushrooms soften. Add the baby spinach. Now it looks like a lot, but you'll see as it cooks down, it'll wilt considerably. Carefully mix the spinach in and cook until it's completely wilted down. Now add the bacon, mushrooms, and spinach to the seasoned chicken and mix to combine. Use some butter and grease a 9x13 inch casserole dish. Pour the chicken mixture into the casserole dish and distribute as evenly as possible. Next, we'll need about two and a half cups of my Alfredo sauce. I'll have a link in the description below for that recipe. To the Alfredo sauce, add a quarter cup of sour cream and mix with a whisk to combine. Pour the sauce evenly over the top. Now evenly distribute a half a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese. Follow that with a half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. Cover with some aluminum foil and place in the middle of a preheated 375 degree oven for 20 minutes. Carefully remove from the oven and uncover. Place the casserole back in the heated oven for additional 20 minutes. Remove once again and let cool just a bit. Serve hot and enjoy one of the best low carb casseroles you'll ever try. There you have it folks, my low carb chicken Florentine Alfredo casserole. Perfect for your weekly meal prep or any family dinner. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and consider subscribing. I'll have something new every week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.